Which is better, ChatGPT or Google Bard? Today, we're putting these two AI language models to the test. We'll review the pros and cons of each and compare their results side by side so you can decide which one is best for daily work, marketing, and content creation. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Marketing and Creator Tools, your go-to place for all things AI. In the last year, we've seen hundreds of AI tools hit the market, but most of them are just copy and paste versions of one another, lacking innovation and that it factor. And while Microsoft-backed ChatGPT has grabbed all the headlines so far, Google's AI tool called Bard has been gaining ground, with some even calling it better than ChatGPT. But before we cover the pros, cons, and unique features of each, let's do a quick overview so you can understand the differences. When OpenAI released ChatGPT at the end of 2022, it kicked off an AI hype wave like we've never seen before. ChatGPT was created by the tech company OpenAI, and as you've probably seen, it blew up because it's eerily human-like. It functions as a chatbot, and to use it, you just type a question or instruction, also known as a prompt. ChatGPT analyzes your prompt and generates a response based on a large language model, or LLM for short. LLMs are large groups of data filled with info from the internet, which is what powers AI tools. ChatGPT's latest version 4 update came out in March of 2023, and it's actually smart enough to pass the bar and medical board exams. Can't say the same for myself. If you want to learn more about GPT-4, check out our complete breakdown linked in the description. So let's look at JetGPT in action, and if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. For this example, I wanted to build my very own online business, so I started by asking ChatGPT to act like my business coach and give me a plan for how to make money online. First, it gave me a list of profitable niches, followed by a detailed outline of how to get started. And after a little back and forth, ChatGPT gave me everything from a business name, ways to market it, a complete sales strategy, and tips for scaling the business. Now, let's see if Bard can do it better. So what is Google Bard? Like ChatGPT, Bard is an AI chatbot designed to help you with anything you need, and some are already calling it the best AI on the market. Google released Bard in March of 2023 as a direct response to ChatGPT, probably because they didn't want it to steal their users. The two platforms function similarly to one another, but the data that Bard is trained on is different and the output is made to feel more conversational. Instead of using the GPT-4 mode that ChatGPT uses, Bard uses what's called Lambda, which stands for Language Models for Dialogue Applications. This dataset focuses on conversations, whereas GPT focuses on producing text. I should point out that it's still in the experimental phase, so it has a pretty limited number of users for now. Bard has plans to become part of Google Search and Google Suite, but for now, it's only available to people who sign up for Google Workspace Labs. But once it's available to everyone, it could win over hundreds of millions, if not billions of users. Now let's ask the same question that we asked ChatGPT about coming up with a business strategy. Bard did a really good job at creating a plan and it definitely felt a little more conversational than ChatGPT. For example, Bard kept saying you throughout its explanation, which made me feel like it was talking directly to me. We just published a video with the best Bard and ChatGPT prompts for marketing and content, including how their answers stack up, so make sure to check it out right after this one. We'll do a few more side-by-side -side generation comparisons in a bit, but first let's take a look at the pros and cons of each. ChatGPT currently has features that other AI tools don't, and the biggest one is plugins. Plugins are tools that connect to the platform and are focused on completing a specific task by providing the data that ChatGPT wouldn't normally have. In only a couple of months, we've already seen thousands of plugins hit the market. And they're able to do anything from ordering groceries to finding job listings. We have a new video on our favorite plugins, so if you want to learn more, check out the link below. Another pro to ChatGPT is its integration with the Bing search engine. Bing Chat works just like ChatGPT, except it offers real-time information. Bing Chat is essentially a cross between a regular Google search and the ChatGPT platform. And when you use the Microsoft Edge web browser, Bing AI is embedded into the window. So if you need help crafting an email or rewording a blog, ChatGPT is right there. All right, now let's look at some of Bard's biggest pros. One of the reasons people are excited about Google Bard is because it's trained on real-time data, so you can ask it about current events, which is pretty unique in the AI world. At the time of this video, GPT models use info from September 2021 and earlier. 
Finally, an AI tool that can help us write about current events. Another reason to get excited about Bard is because of the way it'll be integrated into Google Search and Google Suite. Right now, if you sign up for Google Workspace Labs, you can actually start using Bard in your day-to-day -day workflow, and there's a link below to help you get started. To see what it could do, I opened up a blank Word document and let Bard get to work. I clicked the little pencil button to get started and asked for a complete business strategy again. Once I was done, I added the text to my document by clicking the Create button. It gave me a list of options to edit the text like rephrasing, elaborating, and expanding. Another Bard feature is Google Lens, which lets you upload a picture from your computer and have a full conversation about what's happening in it. After it analyzes your image, you can use it to help you come up with captions for your social media posts or even get tips for making your image look better. AI tools are starting to use visual components rather than just text, so it looks like Bard will be leading the charge. ChatGPT also hinted at rolling out this feature, but it's been a few months since we've gotten any updates. You can also use Bard in Google Sheets by exporting its responses, or you can tell it how you want to organize your data and it'll come up with a cell equation you can copy and paste. But both of these AIs also have a few areas where they fall short. Like I mentioned before, ChatGPT's current data cutoff is September 2021. So if you have any questions that are tied to current events, it's not going to help you. The platform has also been accused of making false claims that show bias and even getting answers just plain wrong. And while this isn't exclusive to ChatGPT, it's important to note that the program still needs someone to proofread its work. Another problem with the platform is that they just paused their popular feature, Browse with Bing, which is only for ChatGPT+, Plus, aka the premium version of the platform. Browse with Bing allows ChatGPT to search the internet to answer questions with real-time info, like what happened with the stock market yesterday, or what are the top news stories for the day. This feature was live for a couple of months until OpenAI recently paused it due to potential copyright issues. ChatGPT also received a fair amount of criticism over its plugins because while there are thousands of them, there's probably only a handful of them you can actually use. Sure, some have potential, but tons of them are either really repetitive or don't really make your workflow that much easier. Plus, some plugins are just subpar versions of the third party's native platform. It also doesn't help that you're limited to sending 25 messages every three hours, so you can't really play around with plugins for too long before you get locked out. And while the standard version of ChatGPT is free, the premium version is 20 bucks a month. To get access to ChatGPT4, you have to be a premium member, but it might not be worth the price. Yes, you get access to plugins, but if you aren't really using them, you'll be wasting money. And if you want more options for free AI tools or ones that are worth the cost, make sure to check out our top free and paid AI tools videos. All right, back to Bard. This video wouldn't be complete if we didn't mention Bard's botched live demo in February 2023. The demo was in front of an audience and the platform was asked to give three bullet points summarizing the James Webb Space Telescope using language that a nine-year-old could understand. And oh man, was it wrong. Within seconds, space fanatics were flocking to Twitter to talk about how one of the bullet points that it presented as a fact wasn't even true at all. This unfortunate slip forced shares of Alphabet stock to plummet by over $100 billion as investors panicked that Google would fall behind in the AI race. A little bit of an overreaction if you ask me, but it was still concerning that AI could be so wrong about such a simple question. I mean, in my personal experience using BARD, I found that its real-time data isn't always 100% correct. Sometimes it can't even tell me what day it is. And finally, BARD's language model Lambda uses tons of computational power to keep its system running, which could become a problem as more and more people flock to it. All right, let's put these tools to the test in the battle of the prompts. For the first category in my prompt comparison, I wanted to test each AI on simple questions, so I chose, please give me 10 types of online side hustle ideas. Both platforms gave me the list I asked for, but only Bard included platforms I could actually use to get started. And I felt more confident in the results knowing it was using more up-to-date information. So far, Bard has the edge. In the next round, I wanted to see how the AIs handled detailed prompts. As you can see, this one's pretty long, and the goal of it was to help me turn a side hustle into an online business and get insight on how to do it. Both AIs accomplished the task at hand, and they did a great job at holding the conversation. But since the prompt was pretty detailed, I didn't expect either tool to answer everything in one response, and I was right. 
So I'd say this round is a tie. Next, I wanted to see how they answered questions that involved current events. So I asked, who owns Twitter? This is a pretty simple question that most of us know the answer to. ChatGPT reminded me that it only has knowledge up to September 2021 and then told me it was a publicly traded company run by CEO Jack Dorsey. But when I asked Bard, it correctly identified Elon Musk as the owner while also giving details about the Twitter sale. So Bard was the clear winner of this category. All right, after putting these tools head to head, I feel like I'd have to give the most credit to Bard. Even though the quality of responses for both AIs is pretty good, having up-to-date information is a must and Bard is the only AI I'd trust for current information. Okay, so that wraps up today's ChatGPT and Google Bard comparison. Make sure to let us know in the comments which one you prefer. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't already. We are AI Marketing and Creator Tools. Thanks for watching.